It's prayer time. It's time to praise God in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's time to call on the name of the Lord. Good morning, my family in Christ, and welcome to another morning devotion. God is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And when we pray, we stay connected with God. When we pray the word, we stay connected with God. Prayer keeps us spiritually conscious. Prayer can cause fire to rain down from heaven. Prayer changes things and people. Prayer still works. Prayer prepares us for the next level in God. And we can ask Daniel, even though we may have to go through the lion's den, prayer prepares us for the next level in God. Prayer breaks chains and bars. Ask Paul and Silas who prayed and the jails were open. We must pray without ceasing. Prayer is the kingdom of God's lethal weapon against the enemy of our souls. Prayer authorizes heaven to work on earth. Matthew 18, 18 declares, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. The word of God to the people of God. That is why if the enemy can keep us from praying, he would keep us from experiencing the power of the Almighty God. David says, Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. Daniel did it three times a day. Paul prayed late in the night. Jesus prayed all night. And God heard and answered their prayers. The question today is, won't he do it again? Hallelujah. The answer is yes, he would. Let's pray today, believers. Let's pray today, intercessors. Let's trouble the throne of grace. Let's believe God and pray until he comes and reign righteousness upon us. Fathers, we declare today, we will pray, we will commune with you, we will talk to you, we will give you back your word, we will walk in our prayers, we will live it out to see the power of God in our lives, in our communities, indeed in our nation. We give you thanks, we give you praise for this lethal weapon. For indeed, this opportunity where we can tell it to Jesus, he understands. Where we can take our burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Oh, what pain we often bear, all because we do not take it to the Lord in prayer. So we come today and we pray, we believe and we are trusting you to see us through and we give you thanks for staying connected with you in prayer and i bless you for believers everywhere for intercessors for prayer warriors and we will pray and seek you even today and those who are contemplating as believers may we join this area that is powerful prayer that is worth why prayer and let me pray today we bring those who lead the nations this morning including 
Our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families, we pray for them, that they too pray for us. We thank you for leaders everywhere today as we commend them to you, particularly those who lead in the body of Christ, that we pray today. We bring those who lead in the family, that we pray today, as we pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere. Let the redeemed say so today and pray until we give you thanks. For we ask it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Keep you today. And remember someone prayed for you. They had you on their mind. They took time and they prayed. Let's pray for someone today. Let's pray for a situation. Let's intercede. God is. And let's trust him today and watch him work. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord. In prayer. Amen.